Anybody recognize this? Turns on, turns off. And it's got a set of cables. It goes down through here. Okay, it comes back through here. And where does it go? Oh, to the battery. So, yeah, you guessed it. It's a uh, shutoff switch for the battery. So this shutoff switch, shut off switch is used when, let's say you're gonna go away for uh, a little while and you have a parasitic draw and every, you, know, you leave your car sitting there for a week and you come back and uh, uh, the battery's dead. No matter if you put in the very best battery, new battery, whatever the case is, a week or two and it's dead. Well, some people will get desperate, even mechanics, even shops, and they'll install one of these things here. The unfortunate reality is because this is a Mercedes engine and the electrical components on this here can be uh, challenging, to put it mildly, uh, and that's why most uh, most Chrysler shops don't want to deal with this and obviously Mercedes doesn't want to deal with it because this happens to be a Chrysler Crossfire with the Mercedes SLK platform in it. So. Whoever, somebody did install this because there is a parasitic draw in this case, and that is the uh, side uh, headlights, the marker lights, they just stay on. So what I did is I took a look at the ground. This is the normal cable, okay? Have a look, okay? There's the post. So this section right here would normally be going there, okay? So this is your regular negative cable right here. And that one, if you take a look, it goes right under, sorry for my fingers. Okay, it goes right underneath here. And can I get underneath there? Okay. And right there, okay. I know it's a little bit blurry. There we go. That is where it attaches to the body. So take a look, make sure that this is not green Green means corroded. If it is, just go buy a new one. These things are dirt cheap, okay? And it's a short one. It's about 10, 12 inches at the most. Um, but in this case, I found what the problem is. And the problem is underneath the car, there's a big body ground. And I'll show you that one also. And that one is completely corroded uh, really, really, really bad. And so, no wonder there's 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 issues with uh, with this car. Um, the electrical components on this car, as we know, the, a weak battery can cause so many different issues. You always, 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 always want to check your battery number one uh, with a voltmeter and make sure that it's at around 12.6. Okay, 12.4 may seem pretty darn close, and you, you, by numbers, it is close, but 12.4 is about 75% um, charged. 12.5, uh, 12 point, uh, sorry, 12.3, 12 12.2, you're looking at 50 to 30 to 50% charge. So, I mean, at that point, your battery's dead. So 12.6, 12.65 is ideal for these things here. So have a look at your battery. Make sure that it is first and foremost fully charged before you start throwing anything at this car or these cars anything with the mercedes slk platform on them and just about any other car but especially especially these guys here the electrical components are so sensitive to a weak battery that it will cause uh, all sorts of issues so hope that helps uh Always check the battery first and then move on to wherever your issue stands. Have you look at your ground cables. Have a look at your fuses. Okay, don't jump to conclusion as to, oh my God, uh, you know, the computer blew on this thing. No, 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 no. Just go ahead, take a look at the primary things, batteries, cables, fuses, and then start looking at the actual components themselves. Okay, so I hope this helps. Gives you a little bit of guidance as far as to where to go to. And if you got one of these things, well, if you're using it for a, uh, because you're going away for six months of the year or you're storing your car for many months of the year, I, I would suggest instead of having this system, just take your, disconnect your battery, 
bring it in the house, put it in the garage, wherever you can. Try to keep it in a, maintain it in a warm place if you can over the winter time and throw a trickle charger on it. Trickle charger is just going to keep it a uh, uh, um, uh, maintained uh, 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 a battery level during the course of the year so it doesn't die. So when it comes time for springtime, you don't have to charge it from halfway or or three quarters of the way. It's, it's already been fully charged with the trickle charger. I put a trickle charger on mine and I leave it there the entire season. I don't take it off. It's there for the entire entire winter time. This time we're going to take a look at a uh, little known issue that uh, everybody seems to forget to check. And um, it's, uh, it causes a lot of issues basically. People get in their car, their battery dies, they put in a, a new battery, battery's still dying, they change the alternator, they change everything and still uh, the mechanic at the shop still doesn't get it. So take a quick look here at what I just found on this one here. Okay, I'm underneath the car and see that blue wire? That's supposed to be a copper wire. That's supposed to be your ground your body ground there okay so take a look here this is crusty rusty okay you can see a little bit of what the color is supposed to be right there the end of my thumb I know you can't let's see if we can get that in focus okay there we go see that right there that's nasty so in this case here just disconnect it right here it's right at the transmission and it goes doesn't go very far okay it goes right up about 10 inches or so further so it goes from my thumb to my finger that's it so you see something like that well if you don't see something like that if you're having all sorts of electrical issues and you can't figure it out get underneath it have a look this car had a um they had to place a uh a, a, a kill switch on the battery a battery switch off and uh, if they had just come down here, taking a quick peek. Hey, look at that. So, good change. Not going to cost you much. A couple of bucks at the store. And uh, it'll save you a lot of headaches. So, always remember, check your grounds. Also, the ground going from the battery to the body. It's about another 10, 12 inches away or so. Have a look at the colors. It's not supposed to be anything else than this this brass wiring here okay so hope that helps you with uh figuring out what's going on with your car and, and and take a look at it first before you bring it to a garage and be spending hundred and some odd bucks an hour So I'm just going to clean this up right here as well as right over there. Make sure that it's uh, there's no corrosion on it and come right back. Ah, that's beauty. Okay, so now we can put the uh, the new cable, new braided wire in. So, this is the one I got. It's a little long, but that's okay. That's not an issue. So we'll just get that going in there. Work it down. All right. Tight. and then what I'll do here is I went and I cleaned out the bolt and all I'm going to do here is just twist this around a couple of times here and pass it through there we go so now it's going to come in here there we 
go. Get that started. If I twist this guy a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like twist this guy a little bit more. Right. There. First thing I'll just shorten it up. And oh, that's right. That was a 13 millimeter regular nut, uh, but this one is the Torx, the E14, I said. So, okay. There we go. Now, you got a good cable, you got a good ground. This should help out a lot with, well, in this particular case, we'll find out. And, uh, but that need that cable needed to be changed no matter what 